so much to do. We have another week of pre-K. Good morning, all my beautiful friends in pre-K 1 and pre-K 2. Happy Monday. I am glad you are here with us today. And again, as the song said, there's so much to do. We're going to continue with our math this week, and we're going to actually do a review and a wrap-up. So last week, we went through numbers, and I asked you to make dot creations. I have one student who is going to be on my video today, his creation. We're going to talk about it a little bit more from our book, 10 Black Dots. But today, we're going to review this chart. As you can see, we have the numbers 1 through 10. And we didn't talk a lot about it. We just talked about counting the numbers, and we put this together. But I want you to take a second and look at the chart. And I want you to tell me what you notice. Do you see a pattern? What do you see as the numbers start at the top and go to the bottom? So if I look, I'm seeing my hand is going down. It looks like the numbers are getting bigger. That's right. It starts here and we go and it makes a shape. It's getting bigger because what we're doing, we're adding one dot each time. And as we do that, it makes our chart bigger. If we were to start at the bottom, and we would go up this way, the numbers would be getting smaller. Very good. So when we go from one to 10, the numbers get bigger or larger. And when we go from 10 back down, the numbers get smaller. So we're going to jump right into our lesson with a review from next week, and let's dig right in. Last week, we read 10 black dots, and I asked you to create your own creations. Isaiah created a ladybug. Can you count the number of dots that he has on his ladybug? I have circled some on the left and some on the right. Let's count the ones on the left. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Even though the shape of dots on the left are different than the shape of the dots on the right, they still are five. They each have five, and we know that five plus five makes 10. His ladybug has 10 dots. Now I'm going to show you different dots, and you're going to count them. Let's do it together. How many dots do you see? That's right, there is one dot. How many dots do you see in this picture? That's right, there are four dots. Now, how many dots do you see? Yay, there are two dots. Let's count again. Five dots, you're on a roll. We're gonna take that same picture and turn it a different way. How many dots do you see now? You are correct, there are still five dots. Let's try a different number. There are six dots. Correct. Try that again. We're on a row, that is still six dots. Great job. Now take your time and count the dots. Great job. There are eight dots. Let's practice one more number. Count the dots. Yay! 
Awesome. You are correct. There are seven dots. So thank you for joining me today. Thank you for reviewing our math and our numbers and recognizing how to look at dots. This way is a way that you see those numbers when you see them and you will know automatically what they are, but you have to practice. So you can always use those dot cards to help you practice knowing how many dots there are just by looking at them. You're going to get that good, I know. Thank you for learning with me today. Thank you for being here. Thank you for staying safe and well. I miss you so much. Mm -mm. And I can't wait to see you next time. Have a great day. Bye-bye.